Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to finally record the um, first impressions on the new Milani items and I'm gonna go over the items that I got. But before I do that, I kind of just want to show you guys what I got for um, my Morphe subscription. I have this Morphe subscription through Live Glam and for $19.99 a month, you can get anywhere between four to five Morphe brushes um, all always valuing more than what you pay monthly and um, every month you get different brushes and I do have a link for you guys if you guys do use my link um, you don't have to but if you do you get an additional brush your first month so instead of getting four you would get five so you get to choose um, an additional brush um, so the first brush that I got is going to be this M 104 which is the, an angled brush, probably for contour or blush. And then I also got this Chubby Buffer, which is an M335 for um, concealer, for buffing out your concealer or your contour. I also got this M509, which is a large blending brush, and I feel like it's more for a um, highlight, so that's probably what I'll use it for. And then I did get this M. 462 which is like a powder brush I will be using this for my setting powders to set under my eyes so those are the four brushes that I got this month for $19.99 like I mentioned I will leave the link in the description just in case you all are interested so let's get into the products that I got for this month this month I did get <laughs> I don't know why I said this month this haul, um, I did get the new Milani thing. So the four new things that I got, and um, I'm going to kind of explain to you what it is, is this new um, Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I have tried the Milani Foundation, which is like the holy grail that everybody uses, and I do really like it. So I hope I like this one as well. I'm also, I also picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, the new one. And this one is in the shade Light Nude, and the foundation I got in Creamy Vanilla. And I got this shade um, because the Creamy Vanilla is the one that I use in the liquid one. And then I just kind of winged it on the concealer. So I did order them online, so hopefully they're my shade. I didn't get shade matched or anything. And then I also picked up this bronzer, and this bronzer is in the shade Sunkissed. This was also um, on their new items. Another thing I picked up is this new Make It Last setting spray. This is the matte charcoal setting spray, so I will be using this as well. And then when I did, oh, I'm sorry, I also picked up this new um, I Am Fabulous Bold Matte Lipstick. And this is such a beautiful shade. Let me swatch it for you. And that's the shade so so pretty and then I also when I ordered the stuff I also got this like free gift with purchase they also included this rose powder blush and this is in romantic rose which I'll be using in the video and then I also did get this prime perfection little sample that I will also be using in the video I have not tried any of these items so this is a, going to be an actual first impressions the only Milani thing that I've ever used is the cream foundation, like the one in the little liquid form. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with this primer. Now this primer claims just to be hydrating. It doesn't claim to be like a blur perfecting primer, which are the ones that I usually prefer. Um, but let's see how it goes. Um, this is... Prime Perfection, it primes and hydrates skin to create a natural finish, reduces redness and minimizes the look of pores. Well, it does say that it minimizes them. It's lightweight and a non-greasy feel. So, let's try it out. I'm going to put some on my head and then rub it on my face. Now, it does feel really hydrating. Um, my skin is so weird. I have like combo skin, so I get 
oily on the t-zone which is like right here and then I'm like drier on the outside of my face so it's just hard to tell like what day my skin's gonna be what so hopefully this primer works for me I usually use Tatcha and I just really love that one because it's blur perfecting I feel like it blurs out my pores and leaves them flawless <laughs> I actually picked up and I'm gonna get in the mail a bunch of new stuff like I literally placed like five orders from like five different sites so I'm excited for that but I'm not gonna say anything we'll just wait until everything gets here and then I'll do a makeup haul so I'm gonna go in with the foundation let's see how it goes <laughs> Hopefully this matches me. I honestly have never even applied a stick foundation. So I don't even know how. I do have my mirror here, so let me grab that. So, and I know my skin is so bad, guys. I've been freaking out. And I actually just purchased some um, Tatcha skincare that I had, um, I've never had never tried Tatcha and so like the first couple days I feel like it like was clearing my skin out and everything was going great and then it's been like maybe two weeks now and I feel like my skin is just not cooperating this is a real technique sponge it's a little bit damp I'm gonna go in with that and hopefully I can get it to blend out right um I don't know if I'm supposed to use a um If it's easier with the brush or if it's easier with the blender with the beauty blender I'm gonna spray a little bit of setting spray on it because I feel like I need to give it a little moisture to spread out the foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and finish blending this out and then I'll be right back so I did try and get that blended out. I do feel like it was a little dry. I've honestly never used a stick foundation, so I don't really know what it's supposed to be like. Um, I feel like the shade match is pretty good. I feel like the shade matches, but I do feel like it is not a full coverage. Um, you can still kind of see my imperfections, and I feel like if I would have just gone in with my Fenty or with my Huda, it would have covered that up. Um, completely so I will say that it is more of a light to medium and maybe buildable but I feel like it just didn't cover a lot of the imperfections in my skin like a real full coverage um, foundation would have done I'm gonna set my face um, since I didn't get a setting powder I'm gonna set my face with this bare minerals um, deluxe original mineral veil and I'm gonna go in with that M462 brush that I just got in my subscription and I'm just going to lightly set the foundation before I apply anything else I really like this um, mineral powder just because I feel like it's real lightweight and it doesn't feel like heavy or anything and it sets it really nice. I usually use it just to set and then um, I do have my Fenty one that I use to set my concealer and contour if I feel like I need it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer so we're gonna try this conceal and perfect longwear concealer in the shade light nude um, so let's see. I really like that the applicator is not like round like you see like you know for instance in the shape tape or I don't know if you guys have tried the dupe the one that they say is a dupe, the Makeup Revolution one. This one is actually flat and it looks really good. So I'm just going to apply that on my eyes. Under my eyes, I'm sorry, not on my eyes. 
Um, it feels really nice. It feels like really creamy. I will say that. And I hope this covers these little guys right here. I have just been breaking out so bad, guys. I don't know what's going on. So let's blend this out. I'm going to get my um, Morphe Beauty sponge to blend out this concealer. It's gonna blend, blend, blend. I will say that the concealer is blending really, really nice. It feels so nice and creamy, and I feel like it definitely covered. Um, the imperfections that I had on my lip, on top of my lip here, and I feel like my under eyes look really snatched as well. I am, I mean, I know that I haven't worn it long yet, but I really feel that this concealer is really awesome. I feel like it brightened up under my eyes did what I wanted it to do okay so I am going to set my face um, I'm gonna go get my setting powder and then I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use the Fenty I'm going to grab the same beauty um, sponge and this is the Morphe one and just set under my eyes I honestly like live for this setting powder guys um all the hype that they have around this is totally worth it I really feel like it leaves your under eyes looking so nice and it smells so good so I'm gonna leave that for a little bit and move to the bronzer so the bronzer I will be using today is this new Milani one that I showed you let's see how it applies I think I'm just gonna use that angled brush that I got for my um, Morphe subscription this month and I just I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be so I don't want to get too much and I'm just gonna go in Ooh, I feel like that is actually really pretty. I feel like a little definitely goes a long way. Um, you do not need a lot. I think it could have gone a little bit lighter. But I honestly really like it. It went on real buttery. I think it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this setting powder that I have under my eyes. You guys, it leaves this looking like so blurred. I really, really enjoy it. I'm also just going to kind of cut it here a little bit. And I'm going to go in with that same Morphe sponge. I feel like it just helps give it that like shape. I really wish I would have gotten some some eyeshadow palettes or some eyeshadow from Milani so I could have also done like um an eye look but I just wanted to try out the, the new stuff and I didn't see any new like eyeshadow palettes. When I went to the website, like the first page that it takes you to was like the new items and I just picked up 
a few of the things that I had seen on there that I really, really just wanted to try. So I'm just going to leave that on for a little bit. And I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to try and contour my nose. I'm honestly not the best at it, so do not judge. Oh, that was bad. I feel like this is too dark. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, the damage is done. Let's see if I can blend that out. I honestly feel like that was a really bad idea. So, I'm going to see if I can take that off. Kind of like... I ended up with this. So, I'm going to go in with the blush. The blush that I got. The little sample size blush. And that one is... In... I think I mentioned it, but just to say it again, Romantic Rose. I'm going to go in with this M553. And I'm just going to lightly go in with it. I hope that it's not too pigmented and I don't look too, too crazy. I'm not like really into a lot, a lot of blush. I feel like I already went in pretty heavy with the bronzer that I don't need more blush. What do you think? So let's go ahead and wipe off the cut here. And we'll give my face a look. So that's everything. I think all that's left is the lipstick and the setting powder. Um, I didn't fill in my brows or anything for this video because I am just trying it out. I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to test out the new stuff that I got. I got it this weekend. And I just really wanted to give feedback and give you guys my thoughts. So let's try on this lipstick. This is... The matte one that I mentioned in I Am Fabulous. So, let's try this out. Oh, it's a really pretty shade. It looks really nice on. It's going on. So, so creamy. I don't know if you've, like, uh, tried the matte lipsticks from MAC, but sometimes they're just really hard to put on. And they're So, my computer decided to die, but I just didn't just put on the lipstick and I didn't do anything. I said my computer. My camera, my camera, my camera turned off because it's horrible and I regret the $600 I spent on it. But anyways, so this lipstick is actually really, really pretty. Like I was saying, I don't know if it got cut off, but it's super creamy, goes on really nice. Um, better than the MAC ones that are real dry. I mean, they do, they're amazing, they last, they look awesome. But if you want to compare, this is, a little bit easier to apply so I really liked that and then I'm gonna go in with the setting spray and then we will see how that goes to be honest though like let's just like kind of like look at what's going on here I really feel like the concealer is really good I really have um, bad under eyes because I work full-time because I work full time, I work from 7 to 5 and then I have class from 6 to 10 so I literally don't get a lot of rest, I'm always busy. So I really feel like the concealer is doing its job. So let's go ahead and set my face. I love setting spray. My all time fave, I don't know if I've mentioned yet but the Urban Decay All Nighter in the Cherry Scent is like everything i just love like throwing it on and like the scent that it like leaves it smells so good i actually feel like i need to go buy like 10 of them because they're going to discontinue it and they probably will never make it again and i'll be really sad so i did put on the setting spray 
Now let's kind of just let my face sit for a little bit while I go over each product. The first thing we're going to talk about is the primer. The primer is not my favorite item. Um, I feel like, yes, it was hydrating, but it didn't blur enough um, for me. Um, I'm glad I didn't purchase it and, you know, I did get this sample size because I did not really enjoy it. I feel like there's better out there. Um, the next item we will discuss is the foundation. I am not a fan. I don't know if it's because I'm just, I've never tried a stick foundation and I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like after a while, like it did build up, you know, I had to put a lot of it on and it was buildable, but I feel like the cream one, um, the one in the little pump does a way better job and for the same price, I feel like you probably get more product because I don't really feel like that's a whole lot. But then again, I don't know how to really use a stick foundation. Um, so this is a no for me. Um, I'm glad though that I did get to try it. It's always fun trying new things and figuring out what's good for you. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is the bronzer. I honestly love the bronzer. I love, love, love it. And I definitely recommend you at least try it. I feel like it is very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. I kind of might have gone a little too heavy. But it went on real buttery. It blended really well. I um, am going to give this a thumbs up for sure. Now let's talk about the blush. I do like the blush. I like it a lot and I'm really glad that they sent me this shade because I really 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 like it. Um, I don't know if this is like for sale like at this size but I feel like it's perfect and it will last you know a good while. Um, so this is another guess for me. And I think my favorite out of everything is going to be this concealer. It went on so creamy. I feel like it is definitely medium to full coverage. Um, I actually really enjoy it more. Well, I mean, I don't know yet because I've only had it on for maybe 20 minutes. But I feel like it, I'm going to like this more than my shape tape. Um, I really, really like it. And I definitely recommend that you guys try it out. Um, so this is definitely a two thumbs up for me. The second favorite of mine is this lipstick very creamy i loved it just pick one up try it out i really feel like you will love it this shade is perfect zero one i am fabulous i this is this is my jam this is the stuff that i like so i enjoyed this and the last thing we'll talk about is this setting spray it smells really really good um i'm gonna use it a couple more times before i say how i really feel um because i feel like Today I'm not going to wear my makeup long enough to kind of decide if it's a 16 hour wear, if it, you know, did what it's supposed to. I feel like right now though it did, you know, set my face, it did smell really nice, it feels good, but I guess I kind of have to try it out a little more before I can give my opinion. So that's all of the stuff that I tried. The other stuff that I use is just stuff that I use in my everyday, um, makeup routine then I know um, I did tell you guys about the brushes so if you're interested I'm going to leave the link below I will also link um, all the new Milani stuff that I tried out today um, and I want to thank you guys if you've made it this far thank you for watching I know that I have several new subscribers thank you for joining my small little channel and I hope that we get to grow and I'm excited because I literally purchased so much stuff and I have so many videos planned for the next couple weeks so I, I'm excited to film I'm excited to put those out and I'm really grateful for you guys if you guys are still watching and if you are please hit the like button um, subscribe and ring the notification bell I will be uploading two to three times a week so, um, I really hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night.